Yo, what is poppin', ladies and gents? It's your boy Step Brian back here again with another unordinary reaction. Okay, okay, hold on, wait. Before we start episode 210, before we start, I need to show you guys these YouTube analytics. I'm about to do this every single video from now on because y'all stay doing it, bro. Y'all stay doing it. Y'all be watching my videos but not being subscribed, and I don't understand why. You coming back next week anyway so that shows that you enjoy the content so you might as well subscribe you can always unsubscribe later and make sure you hit that bell button but besides the point let's keep going so if you could see the sub count below we did hit 2k a a a shout out to all that extra stuff you know for a fact you know i saw that and i was like hey that's cool but like bro just like i always say get right back to work and that's exactly what we're gonna do you know you know it's like it's like when you fall you got to get up and brush yourself off ex except in this case you know it was a good thing but all right let's go so last week you know john pulled up in the club room and all that extra stuff and here we are here we are <laughs> bro what is this yo wait hold on wait what's with all this white space bro okay besides the point so they just they just you know they're playing freaking like freaking having staring contests and shit shut up you fucking liar <laughs> Bro, this man really just played soccer with this man's head, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> bro, look at the reactions. Look at these reactions. John! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This man's eardrums got busted, bro. Somebody help this man. Somebody help this guy. That's enough. <sighs> Even they looking like... Oh shit, you know, we thought we thought we would have been able to get him out. We thought this was like the civil rights movement. They can't tell us shit. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Even Zeke looking at him like, oh no. He didn't even he didn't know this shit was gonna happen either. Nah, actually nah. He be thinking that, you know, since John's here, he'd be he be backing me up and shit. Nobody ain't gonna do shit. Then he was like, oh fuck, he actually came through. Neil. Man, she looking like she's about to try and heal his ass. Step. What do you think you're doing, Serafina? Move your foot. Serafina. Who the hell do you think you are? You seem to have mixed up your position. You don't get to give orders. Especially not to my people. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, John? This student needs to go to the infirmary. You just knocked him out. Yeah, I mean, no shit, Sherlock. He deserved it. For what? Trying to protect himself? I put out a fucking order. Whoever joins this place becomes my enemy. Now I'm enforcing it. Now what about me, John? <laughs> Does that make me your enemy too? You lost that. You lost your right to being his friend a long time ago, didn't you? <laughs> you became my enemy long before the safe house. The moment you betrayed me, I went behind my back. Get your story straight. Who betrayed who? You betrayed me. I see, so that's how it is. If you have a grudge against me, then fine. What do you have against the rest of this place? Everyone here is a fucking liar and abuser. And a coward. John, look at these people. How many of them have you actually met? How many of them have you seen before? I've seen enough to know how shitty all of you are. You're just a bunch of idiots hiding away in a room, <laughs> blindly following a group of royal frauds. Hey, you know, the frauds part is kinda true. Honestly, going back to this portion, how many of these people have you probably seen? can't lie look at that look at that look on their face a few of them have definitely seen this man a few of them have definitely seen this man over a fact that chick right there with the one eye showing actually there's one back there too with the, the blondie with also one eye showing i know for a fact a few of these guys have probably pulled up on john because look bro they were bullying beforehand and then they said nah bro uh i'm tired of this shit i'm trying to get dumped and like now they are so you never know they actually might have pulled up on him in the past i understand you're still angry with them but in the last month, they've done a lot to help us out. So I guess I, I didn't realize, you know, a month, uh, a race is two years all of a sudden. But, you know, whatever, right? Two years or a year, whatever. I don't care. Don't comment down in the section. Uh, don't comment down in the comment section what the timing is because then everybody's going to be like, oh man, bro. Acting like know-it-alls and shit. <laughs> of course you defend them. You're just as bad as they are. Like that idiotic redhead who threatened to blow my brains out. This is true. Yo, Blake, he keep aiming towards the head, bro. Like, this man don't got no self-control. He could just, like, shoot them in the leg or some shit. Cause, you know, that shit gonna heal up. If you blow somebody's brains out, that shit is not gonna come back. I don't give a fuck what kind of freaking alchemy shit you about to do. 
and that rat who broke my wrist and exposed my identity, and that bitch who ignored everything around her. Psst, oh that look, I know that look. And don't forget Arlo, deceived me, dragged me out into a field and ambushed me. Yes, I'm aware, John. But have you thought about what you've done to them in return? You publicly, humil yeah, publicly humiliated them, put them in critical condition, hospitalizing them, and then stripped them of their titles. I mean, it's not like it hasn't been done to him multiple times, so, uh, you know. Don't you think that's enough payback? Hey, bro. When somebody hurts you, you gotta pay them back double. That's just the way it goes. Isn't it time, to, time you let it go, focus on other things? Nothing would I, will ever make up for what they've done. They don't care about other people. They're only doing this because they've lost. Now they all want to act all righteous so that they can undermine me. Honestly, this part right here, they do act like this because they lost, bro. It, it took a beating to the, it really took that, like that freaking like, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Fucking, uh, when you hurt your head. <laughs> concussion. It really took a concussion beating to get these guys' heads, in str heads on straight. And Arlo's head still ain't on straight. This man's still contemplating what to do. I don't want to act all righteous so they can undermine me. John, they've all reached out to you and tried to work with you. You were the one who dismissed the... Because of because they're afraid of how powerful I am. They're all a bunch of fakes. That is true, though. That is true. You know, the moment you, the moment they sh he showed his power, that's, what, that's, the, that's the exact same moment that everybody was like, Oh, shit, bro. <sighs> it's just the way it goes. It's just the way it goes. For everybody who'd be like, yeah, bro. You know, they got their, they got their point. They're trying to change and shit. You know, John really tried to change for two years. They got, they're trying to change for a one. They're trying to change for like a month, and all of a sudden, oh man, bro, I'm supposed to feel bad for them. Okay, yeah, bro. It doesn't really, it really doesn't matter what I say, huh? Everyone is fake to you. If they really cared, then where was this place? Then where was this place sooner? Where the fuck was the safe house when I was a cripple? The safe house is here now. Well, too bad. Too little, too late. What, what else can you say, right? The royals have made their mistakes made their mistakes and learned. What more do you want? You want them to turn back time? Start it up earlier so you can continue to play pretend and keep running away from your issues? The fuck did you say? That's actually true. You better watch your fucking mouth. John, you're not the victim anymore. How about you start facing your problems instead of vilifying all the people around you? Hey, Serafina got a point with that portion though. I mean, I can't say he's not the victim. He's always going to be a victim in this society. Because, like, you know, up, down, it doesn't really freaking matter. But, like, yeah. He is vilifying some people that don't have anything to do with it. Shut the fuck up. You don't know anything. Don't pin everything onto me, you fucking hypocrite. You're the problem. All of you are. <laughs> oh, the flashback's coming again. Why does it keep happening? swing this man <laughs> Whoa, look at that kamehameha man but it's red yo uh, you asshole get the fuck out <laughs> man's really threw him through the top of the building bro that's crazy as shit and they call john crazy he ain't ever threw somebody off a building bro <laughs> uh, hey he already had zeke's ability though so he was on point and he got chores hey what else is there to say? That's GG. You know for a fact shit's coming next game. Next well, next match. Next chapter. There we go. This is a pretty short short chapter to be honest. Uh yeah, he even just looking down like, oh fuck, bro. You can see the sweat on his face, like I don't know, bro. We already saw last chapter that Blake was like contemplating what the fuck to do with the whole uh what's it called? With the whole um with the whole drug and shit. So I'm here like the fact that, uh, you know, the, to some of us, what's it called? This shit might look really crazy right here. Everybody's going to be like, oh my god, he definitely took it, bro. He definitely took it. I'm so, I'm, I'm like, just not sure. Just because, like, he, we've already seen him do this, the whole pulse shit. What was it? Yeah, we've seen him do the whole pulse shit already. So it's like, it's not that big of a deal. It looks strong, but it's like, you know, you got to realize that that shit is like, um, he caught him off guard for one. And, you know, it's a very wide ranged attack. Just like from reading into between the lines from last chapter i just don't think he took it bro i just don't think he took it just from that also from that look on his face bro like what is it look at him he doesn't look like he's fucking all like you know all that confident because like you know if you took the drugs you'd probably be a little bit more confident in yourself but like because like and john i think he would have definitely been a lot more hurt even if he didn't have that ability like he got a few scratches but that's really it 
I just don't think he took it. I think he took it before. I thought he was going to take it. But from what happened last chapter when he was saying like, man, what am I doing? I shouldn't even be taking this shit. Or like, he should like t tell the headmaster or whatever. I just think, I just don't think he took it anymore. That's just, but that's personally me. Hey, I could be wrong, but I don't think he took it anymore. But either way, you know, the chapter was pretty short. Nothing really happened to my, well, actually, I'm not, I'm not going to cap. Wait, <laughs> let me just not say nothing really happened. You know, we got some revelations. Uh, John Seraphine all was arguing back and forth. We know for a fact, John was not about to stop that punch this time though, for a fact, because bro, he was going to hit her. He was definitely going to do it. And we've seen some, uh, I saw some foreshadowing this shit. What was it like? Uh, like, what do you want me to do? What do you want them to do? Turn back fucking time or whatever. And yeah, not playing the victim anymore. Eh, all that extra stuff. Honestly, this was a pretty, uh, this was a pretty good chapter overall because like they're both making some pretty good points. Sometimes, you know, obviously, some of them way, way over the others. I'll let that. I'll leave that up to you guys to decide who you uh, you know, side with. I don't really care. Uh, but yeah, I think this chapter was pretty decent. Uh, yeah. That's really uh, that's all my thoughts. I guess I'll give this pretty bit like 7.5, maybe an 8-ish overall rating. Cause like, you know, it wasn't any like fighting, but like it was a good setup. And all of this is definitely setting up for something bigger in the future. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to like subscribe, comment down below, check out my Discord, my Patreon, my Twitter, all that stuff in the description. The music, shout out to C3 Beats, because that's the only beats that I use nowadays. So all that extra stuff. Talk to y'all next time. Peace out.